It is seven in the morning. I have to get high board. Okay, but I wanted to show you how cold it is. Well, the car says it's 28. It is not 28, that must be what it is in our garage. It is like 13 degrees outside. It's cold. 15 in the morning and she has cheer. All right, we're trying to get situated here. Make sure we have everything. She's gonna do her makeup except for her mascara. In the car. I snoozed one alarm and I shouldn't have snoozed that alarm. But it is cold. Yeah, the temperature is quickly dropping on my car to 21. 20 it is quickly dropping but I we discovered something yesterday I um, we don't have You're freezing just, like, super excited about I am because we don't have freezing temperatures very often and so when you do and you discover that you have a heated steering wheel what about, me? Like, uh, what about you you don't have to hold on to a cold steering wheel so I mean you have heated seats and stuff which is super nice plus we discovered that we actually might have like a heated Windshield. Uh, windshield button um, that's different than like your defrost button or it heats the wish washer fluid or something which would have really helped our drive through um, the pass last year when we came home from Utah we well, get, all like, the passes fluid, like, wipe yeah it. like we just couldn't figure out why we couldn't get our windshield clear enough oh. anyway now we know that 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 feature or if anyone knows anyone has a Tesla um, there's a button right next to the steering um, heater, steering wheel heater um, feature. It has a little washer, like a wiper um, button um, that you can do it on heat. And I don't know what that means. So, I could try it. Just wanted to document our very cold morning. <laughs> that doesn't happen very That's often. You have to be there in 45 minutes, but as per usual, this one tells me the night before that we have to go get a cheer gift for someone. I, I cannot, forgot. I know, and I cannot keep track of when we're supposed to give who what. So I don't keep track of it anymore. You need to give me a day's notice. And the only store that's open at 7.28 in the morning is going to be a grocery store. So we're going to the grocery store. So we're going to the grocery store that has a Starbucks. And we're going to get a gift card and a candy bar and call it good. Okay, we are not Starbucks people, but this sounds really good. And here, I'm going to hand it to you. Yep, there's the Tribo. Okay, we, show them what else you got for her. She Sweet. loves uh, seaweed. So we got her seaweed. Uh, no, no, I, yeah, take that. And put, uh, we don't have a cup holder. Oh my God. Open up the bottom, the, or the middle compartment. Yep, and then put the put Stanley. Okay, now take that. The gift card came in this wrap, but I don't want her to think that that's like an empty cake pop wrapper. And okay, are you in? You got me feeling kind of crazy. You got me feeling like my head is spinning around. The way you look is so amazing, amazing. I could stare into your eyes for hours. Okay, and the team direct, please welcome Eastside Grimley.
the worst of seasons, one of the most popular. It's a little cold out here. Yeah. She doesn't put her pants back on. Good job. We're gonna explain everything in the car, but there's a lot that went on today that like, I know. Probably a lot that I don't even know about. A but, lot happened. Yeah. But we are freezing cold. I have had the car warming up for the past 20 minutes. So yeah, I've got an 80 degree car and it's 20 degrees out here. So we'll get warmed up in the car and we'll wait in traffic to get ourselves out of here. And it's not even 12 o'clock, which is so good. And you're gonna go to your friend's house. Yeah. You're gonna one day one day older than me. Oh really? Yeah. Perfect. Oh okay. So you're both gonna have. Yeah, we're both. Oh, that's fun. Okay, we are gonna make our way. Oh my gosh, that cold. It's it's gotta be with the wind chill. I gotta look it up on the weather. Cause I'm betting with the wind chill, it probably feels like five degrees with the wind chill and it, it's windy outside. But, um, okay, okay. explain your awards really quick. What ones did you win? So we won, because we're the only one in our division, which means that we're gonna win either way. So we're not really surprised about it. Right. So we won first place. Um, for youth, Rec. For senior rec. Yeah, division. senior rec division. And then um, they gave it, because this team, I'm not going to say the team, but they go all out. They're, they're just, they go all out for like um, cheer, because they like do this every year. And they yeah. do, they go all out. So another one is like fans favorite, mm -hmm. most confident. And players. I didn't know to vote for fans, fans favorite. Like, there's a teeny tiny sign at the entrance that someone constantly stood in front of. When you pointed it out to me when we left, like, that was the first time I had seen it. Someone had been standing yeah. in it because they shut the doors after every performance. And then there's, um, Judge's, uh, favorite. So, we won Judge's favorite because we did Barbie. Yeah. And then we were going to win Fan's favorite because, but then a team... Well, we were trying to, some we of the teams have, had a lot of people here we didn't like have, they're definitely like, like yeah. dedicated cheer squads they didn't we didn't have beef with them but we've like they've gotten the oh, oh. grand award yeah for three years now I know. and my coach was like i'm not trying to start like a Something, rival i know like, <laughs> okay now, gonna beat them. now explain um the what is the other group? The cheerability. cheerability. Explain the cheerability that one of that performed after you. So in Washington, can I say that? Yeah. Okay. So in Washington, um, we only there's only just cheer teams, but my coach wanted it to be like inclusive to everyone, so she made a team for people who have like special needs and stuff. So she made a whole different team. And then they performed today. And one of your one of your teammates. Yeah, was their she's coach. the coach of it, and just to like get money for college and stuff. And she started crying because of it, because it's like she sees, because like she started crying because like she saw these kids and then it how was hard awesome. they worked and and that they were um, given attention for it. Yeah. And given and the ability the, to come and perform. We're the only one in Washington. Yeah, they're the only ones that got to come and perform today, and they're the only no, ones No, we're the only one who has I know, a I know. team. So that was pretty cool, and like everyone, like it, it made me cry, like just watching him perform and like watching like the audience, like, like we get it, we understand, and so like the whole audience was just clapping for them. Yeah, and we, cause it like, was it was actually really really neat. We started like clapping to the beat because, yeah. but then everyone was like, oh wait, and then everyone did it. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I don't know if I can leave in the clapping for you guys because of the music, but it really was like 
I don't know. Everyone. It's just, everyone was into it. It was really neat. So, good job. You did a great job. And luckily, we're not going into the late afternoon, which is, I think, when the, we get extra tired and extra hungry. Oh, um. So, all the snacks I ended up bringing today came in handy, and she's had lunch now. Anyway, I'm, I'm really glad that we're done before noon. Um, it might take us another 10 minutes to get out of the parking lot, but... And then the confidence. <laughs> and the what? The confidence. What they made us say. Oh, I, it was I didn't so film it, but funny. like the... So our coach... Like, the, not the, the head coach. MC person that was... Or like the head director. judge directing the whole thing. She is also like a person here at this high school that we're performing at. And um, I she, guess like one of her things that she really tells her students... Like she tells them like you need to be confident but then she's like look at my shirt and then everyone read it and then she's like I want all of you guys to say it so you want to tell them what this is because they were all a little embarrassed to say it but as soon as they, they said, said it, it they were like oh yeah that makes us feel good and they said confidence is sexy and yeah. parents didn't like it. there was one mom back behind me I was kind of in the back because I like to get like shots from up above even our seven-year-old but like this one mom behind was like no they shouldn't say that and I'm like yes confidence is sexy you can say that like it is a good thing to give girls the confidence to be you know able to like be in a crowd and be with their schoolmates and be with like it is fine to say I was like everyone kind of turned and looked at her and they're like okay <laughs> you need to calm down so they all yelled it and that was really neat was wasn't it mm -hmm. yeah it was kind of fun from the seven year old on our team she's like you were, I could tell you guys were all a little nervous and the, no, embarrassed to say it it was just like no it is she true. just told us to say it she didn't tell us like what she told her students about yeah it. it was just like say it and yeah then, anyway um, this is one of our rival high schools, <laughs> so we have done my other a competition sideline cheer game at this high school. Last, not the first year she did sideline cheer, we were here. Um, so anyway, and we only have like, we're gonna head home, get her changed, and then she's gonna go and hang out with one of her teammates and go ahead, play with her. It's kind of fun because, like, we're getting to know the families and the parents and that's really important because we're all going to go spend a week together in Japan and so um it's going to be nice to be able to like take Ashley to their house and like we're getting phone numbers and getting to know parents a little bit better um it helps us as parents to like know we can go and travel with them if we actually know their names and know a little bit about them been here at home for hours after dropping Ashley off at her friend's house to admit it's kind of nice when she's occupied but I've been working on the computer, editing two different videos, including up to right now for today's video. But I've also just been printing off, making and printing off my little checklist. I know it's not very cute or official or anything. It's for my videos. It's what I use to, maybe this is out of paper. It is out of paper. It's what I use to make sure I get everything done with like videos and whatnot. If you're new, which actually I have quite a few new people, Running a YouTube channel is not, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's not hard. It just takes a lot of steps and time, dedication, kind of a thing. And to remember all the steps, and sometimes I don't, sorry, sometimes I don't work in order of each video, like one at a time. Sometimes, like this says, you know, filmed, edited, um, get the footage in, work on the thumbnail. Have I taken the thumbnail? Sometimes I batch edit where I do, if I'm like wait a couple days behind, I'll work on one thing for every single video. And I'll just do that one thing. Like sometimes I'll just put in, put in the footage for every single video and go through and find all the thumbnails and then edit all the thumbnails for say three videos. And then other times I'm just working on one day, 100% start to finish. Um, but it, when I do that, it just means that I need to keep track of what I have or have not finished yet. And then I take my little checklist and I mark it off when I'm done. Because you know, if you are not new, <laughs> I am a checklister. And then I take it to, now I'm going to have to take it to Staples. Um, and I have them put it into a little bind, like I have them bind it. Um, maybe I'll go to FedEx. I think FedEx here in town has that. 
Um, and I just have them put it into the spiral and see how I just check everything off the list. And actually, I had this idea the other day. One, I'm gonna need to find a piece of paper to make as my little cute header. I had this idea. I was like, do I have anything cute to like add to my note taking? And I thought, because I'm not gonna use my Project Life. I don't know what Project Life is. It is. It was like a, a way to do scrapbooking. Again, it was like batch scrapbooking. Becky Higgins. I follow her online still. Let me just show you this. Maybe I'll do it eventually. You have these pages specifically from her company. And the papers, like this is, you know, just a page protector, but the little slots are specific to a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. And then she has really cute papers. And then all you have to do is print off different size photos and glue them on or put them in or whatnot. It just makes a really easy batch processing, but I don't do scrapbooks like that anymore. I like to just, I don't do them anymore at all, but I haven't done that for years. And I usually only print photo books from like vacations and whatnot. I've done a few from Hawaii, but I have all of these pieces of paper that I am not using for that anymore. And I just thought, I haven't looked at this in years, but how cute would these be in my like, maybe, oh, this is perfect. Look at this. These are really great. See, like I can put this and tape it or washi tape it. Oh, how cute this would be like into my notebook right here. So if I really had like, this is a really big piece, but if I really had like a specific thing that I needed to, let's do it to an open page here. If I really needed to dedicate if my day was gonna be super busy and I needed to really like map it out by, by time, and then I still needed a checklist of things to do, this would be really cute. But then also like, maybe like the smaller ones, like there's a whole stack of the smaller pieces down here and over here. These would be cute. I could use these as little like inserts to like a checklist or just like a little, I could put it down here. This is really cute. I can put it down here, attach it with some washi tape, add a sticker. <gasps> oh, how fun. It's kind of my way of scrapbooking, kind of what I used to do, but this is really fun. I'm totally gonna, I'm totally going to pull these out and use it this way. So keep your old stuff, you guys. You can use it in different ways and utilize it. I'm actually gonna find a place to keep that here at my desk, use in the future. Also, look how cute that is. I added all the books that I really want to read. I don't know why this kept printing without ink. Like it normally is so finicky and it's like, it won't print anything, but like clearly it's out of ink and it just kept on printing. These ones are okay. Even when I clicked on the printer on the computer, it was like your printer might be out of ink. Then stop printing. Say your printer is out of ink. Refill. These ones are like kind of washed out. But anyway. I will do this on Monday. I'll take that and do that on Monday. Get that all bound up. I have a little bit of time before I have to go get Ashley. I'm gonna change the ink on this. I always forget, this is a new printer, so I forget how to change the ink. Change the ink on that. Finish printing these guys. Set that aside with a header page. I'm gonna pull out my full-size scrapbook page. Find a cute print for that. Oh, you know what I should do? See, this is where my creativity comes in. Like this is the this is fun stuff for me. So I'm gonna pull out a piece of I don't have time tonight. Nope, I gotta leave right now. This is what I can do tomorrow on Sunday. Two things I wanna do going forward on Sundays that I'm, I wanna talk about. But I'm going to pick out a page here and then I'm going to decorate it with my stickers. And then that paper, I can like do a little little title page for it and make it really cute and then um, add some stickers to it. But going forward on Sundays, I wanna have like a different something in my head to do to relax, cause I have enjoyed relaxing on Sundays, watching the Seahawks and then taking a nap and then watching my sister wives. But sister wives, I think we only have one more episode and our Seahawks, our beloved Seahawks, we're out of the playoffs. We are not going to play anymore this season. And it literally makes me so sad when I don't have any more Seahawks to watch. And so I am going to start reading my books. These are the ones I'm gonna start with. And I just saw a friend post about another book that I wanted to pick up and read, but I'm not gonna add any more to my um, audio list because I think Sundays are perfect days to just 
snuggle up on the couch or get into bed with a book and actually read because I bought all these books and I need to sit down and read them but I feel guilty doing that on Sunday or on any other day of the week but Sundays are my rest days and so it's an easy excuse to sit down with a book so I actually have something fun to look forward to do tomorrow did I even show you my second page that I did I think I did did I show you this one this is all the restaurants that I want to go to in Kauai but I just did this cute little page layout um, and then I'm so I'm gonna do restaurants like for different areas so I can kind of keep them straight in my head when we're over in Poipu these are restaurants that we can go to I want to do ones for um, well it's Poipu and then Kaloa and then I want to do ones for Lahui area and then up north up um, on the North Shore. So anyway, that's my cute little Hawaii inspirational page or whatever. Okay, it's the end of the day. We just watched uh, two hours of our... What's it called again? Uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Killers of the Flower Moon. Not as organized, understandable, and as coherent as I expected. No, not at all. Um, but we had to end early because our some friends um, needed to get to bed. We all um, need to get to bed. We all need to get to bed. But they live like a half hour away and she has commitments tomorrow morning at like 7 a.m. And so right when it was good and good. Well, they were starting to figure out what the crap's going on. The FBI to came dots. in finally. Yeah, the FBI came in. So, so far, two hours in, it's like, uh, as a movie review. It's a hard story to begin with. It is. It's very unfortunate. But it's also, I don't think, told in the best way. But we'll see. Maybe it'll all wrap uh -huh. up. And it'll be brought together in a good way, but so far I'm like, eh. The book, they just explained it so much better than this movie, but it's it's just a hard movie. And If you saw the movie or read the book, comment down below. Yeah, let us know if you've uh, seen it. Because it's been a while, and so don't, not everyone remembered, like, yeah. is it is it accurate to the book? I mean, Whatever, but if you saw the movie. the movie, tell us what you think, and if you read the book, write your thoughts down below so we can figure out. It's a hard one to, to watch or read. So, if you haven't yet, just beware of that. Otherwise... Or it looks like it's like daylight outside because it's so bright in this car. Is, but we're um, gonna go but to we're going to go to bed. So, thanks for joining us today. And it was neat for Ashley today to experience, like, them giving that other, their other squad um, their support. Yeah, and I want to see the video. Like, it's, it was way more important to her. Like, she kept talking about it driving home. She's like, Mom, everyone just loved them so much. And we're the only team in Utah or in Washington that has a special needs team. And I, I love that that was the most important thing of her day. Yeah, and not cool. that she got first place out of no other team. Like, it was it was not important to her that they, they had placed. fun competing. Yeah, they, they had, had fun, fun competing so. and that their team won. All right, let's wrap this thing up. Yeah. I'm holding it up. It's getting old. Oh, I wonder what that's like. I don't know, because you shouldn't be driving and holding it up anyways. Love you. Take care. That's what I tell my kids whenever they're bothering me and I want them to be quiet. I'm like, love you. Mahalo. Can't hear you anymore. All right, everybody. Bye. Have a good night.